we are going to crown the greatest team of all time. We have the brackets out. You can see the greatest teams ever going head to head. And at that top right hand part of the bracket there, you see uh, a team I, I think is the greatest of all time, the 1939 New York Yankees. Uh, look, you can, you know, everything, you're getting cute if you're saying the 27 Yankees aren't the most dominant team of all time. But 1939, you make a very good case. Uh, that's the team with a 24-year-old Joe DiMaggio, Bill Dickey, Joe Gordon. Uh, their run differential was plus 411. I outscored their opponents by over 400 runs. They swept the Reds in the World Series. Uh, but we have a matched up against the 1907 Chicago Cubs. They won 107 games, and their whole staff had an ERA of 1.73. Now, there was no run scoring back then. Again, everything is relative. We're talking about run scoring. It doesn't mean those pitchers were so great, but they won 107 games. The 39 Yankees won 106. Pretty good matchup here, two of the greatest teams in history. We welcome back John Thorne, Major League Baseball official historian. John, what do you think of the matchup between the two clubs, 1907 Cubs, 1939 Yankees? Interesting matchup. You know, when you think that they're only separated by three decades, it's the equivalent of matching one of today's teams against the 1980s club. So mm. it's not that far removed. But the dead ball era did have a significantly different profile for run score. Yeah, it, it is drastic. Um, Frank Chance was on that 1907 team. We know Tinker to Evers to Chance. Um, what, do, can they hang with one of the greatest teams of all time? Were they that good? The pitching was that good. I mean, uh, the ERAs, uh, the absolute figures will be shocking. Uh, Mordecai three-finger Brown had a 1.04 ERA to lead the league. But the, uh, but the next two in line were also Cubs starters. Mm. So the Cubs, as a squad, had an ERA of 1.73, which was, which was incredible even for the dead ball era. Yeah, John, this is also 1939 Yankees. This is uh, the year that... Uh Finally, Lou Gehrig had to come out of the lineup. It's hard to think that this team was better than, like, the 36 Yankees because this was their fourth World Series championship in a row. How did this team survive the loss of Gehrig and actually get better? Well, if you look at uh, Babe Dahlgren as the replacement for Gehrig, it seems mysterious because Dahlgren was a 230-240 hitter. But the, uh, the ringer here is Charlie King Kong Keller, who comes in as a rookie and is a very modern player, draws lots of walks, lots of extra base hits, lower batting average. Keller, Silkirk, uh, DiMaggio, Dickey was uh, still on the rise. Um, this is a tremendous offensive club. So good, uh, so good at run scoring that you tend to diminish their pitching staff. Uh, well, let's take a look at the run differential. We mentioned it, John. By the way, people can vote right now, 1939 Yankees versus the 1907 Chicago Cubs. And here's the best run differential of all time, plus 411, the 20, Murderer's Row, 27 Yankees, plus 376. The 36 Yankees uh, right there uh, in the mix as well. It's a bit, sort of the same team, but without Lou Gehrig in 39. And the 1998 Yankees. How much do you put into run differential, John? I put a lot because uh, not only do you have that as a dominance uh, metric for the particular year, you look at 39 as the culmination of a four-year run. This is the best of one of the greatest of all Yankee dynasties. Uh, do you think, uh, again, I mentioned, look, because I've you know, read on this a, a ton, we've done specials on it through the years, and I think you're always getting cute if you're not saying the 27 Yankees as most dominant. Um, but is baseball a little more mature, 1939, or do you think there's not much of a difference, 27 to 39? There is some difference, and I think that uh, in the real world, if you pit teams of old against modern teams, teams of old will lose. And uh, if you have a more or less equal statistical profile of two clubs 30 years removed, you go with the, uh, the more recent club. Who do you think wins this matchup? Who would you vote 39 for? 39 Yanks. 39 Yanks. John Thorne going with the 39 Yanks. Yeah, tough to go. I think they beat uh, everybody out there. Eventually, we'll see. But people can vote as well. John Thorne, again, uh, official Major League Baseball historian. John, great having you on the show today. Thank you so much. Always fun, Brian. Thanks. All right, thank you, John Thorne, uh, joining us uh, from upstate New York.